Good one. Hello and welcome to game number one of the Star Ladder Land Finals for Season 5. These two teams are sitting in Kiev on the stage of the uh, Kiev Cyber Arena and uh, we're going to be seeing Fnatic taking on Virtus Pro for the first game of the Dota 2 Land Finals. Now I um, need to check if this game is indeed not inside Dota TV. We're probably gonna have a remake, so uh, people in the chat, let me know if you can actually see this one. If not, we'll have a remake, and if there's a remake, there's also gonna be a co-caster, at least hopefully for the next one. Maybe this will be able to join me, but for this one, I was too slow, and then he was too slow, and then we all were too slow, and then the game was too fast, and all of a sudden, land final starting actually on time. That doesn't normally happen either, so... Uh, we have got ourselves a game between two teams that have, of course, uh, got quite a history. And, um quite a history in uh, well in last this week alone we had of course the uh, defense finals where Virtus Pro beat Fnatic and uh, got themselves a title and well the, the the history between these two teams is not all happy joy joy because these two teams actually could you know drink each other's blood I feel like but we're gonna see if that is actually affecting the gameplay because it's all of course nice to Ten see two teams that remaining. are not only rivals like in game but also rivals Five seconds remaining in real life that I mean if you know what I mean that that makes um makes the game a bit more dynamic if you will and we're gonna see uh, Fnatic on the dire side for the first game Virtus Pro on the radiant side for the first game this is of course double elimination bracket as you just already quickly saw these are the brackets for this weekend as all the games will be played out with the grand finals happening on Sunday and um, well we're gonna be seeing which one is gonna come out on top this game is only gonna determine if someone who's gets dropped down to lose a bracket and who gets uh, going on to the winners bracket so uh, nobody is going home just yet everybody gets at least to play two best set of threes so we're gonna be seeing Fnatic banning out the Nyx, the Bat, the Chen and the Wisp leaving the Coddle in the pool uh, which is not yet picked up but the Chen actually being banned out um, a bit of a um, bit of a respect ban towards uh, Fnatic as I believe uh, No Tails Chen is quite um, it's quite the the hero, right? The player, right? The threat, yeah. So we have the dark sea was the first pickup for Fnatic, so they go for a lot of control here in their um, in their first hero pickup. And we have the first four, they pick up remaining. a puck and a lone druid. So I was just saying control for dark sea, well, Five control for the puck, remaining. definitely there as well. And lone druid, a bit of late game insurance, a bit of pushing power, Reserve a bit of an time. annoyance already to Fnatic just by being in the game and by you, c you can't really leave him alone too much because he'll be he'll be too dangerous to stop. So you have to do something against him. And Fnatic thinking about their next pickup. I mean, I hate to say it, but the combination is still in the game. Phantom Lancer Coddle. Now we have not seen Phantom Lancer Coddle, Coddle win every game and there have been actually a lot of teams that were able to beat that. We're gonna see Fnatic still pick up the Coddle, but we're gonna see them with a life stealer. So having that era signature hero in there and of course Lifestealer has got a lot of heroes that he can make great combinations with. One of them is the Nature's Prophet. I actually think that we're gonna see that one banned out. Uh, Trixie not gonna be able to play that one. Even though Trixie's Darkseer is also one of his signatures. So he is gonna probably pre hey. be playing that. And is gonna be prepared to see his, uh, his other signature ban. hero getting banned out. We're gonna see Bane pick up by Virtus Pro. Need to control that Lifestealer of course. And Fnatic's first ban is gonna be the uh. Weaver. With the Storm, the first ban for Virtus Pro. Kind of the same role he can play as the uh, Nature's Prophet, with just being everywhere on the map, with a Lifesteader infested in him. And it's um, it's a bit too... You know, you don't really want to fight against that, because it's a bit too mobile, a bit too... I don't know. You have to always be prepared. You can't really get complacent. And for the Lone Druid, he wants to be by himself and farm. And with the Storm Spirit on the map, you kind of can't do that. Especially not if there's a Lifesteader there as well. So we're gonna see Fnatic banning out something more. I mean, we still see that Virtus Pro. They've got ourselves a solo lane puck, solo lane lone druid probably as well. So they need their tri lane. So they need Ten to carry it together with uh, the Bane. So maybe the gyrocopter is gonna be banned out. One of the uh, signature heroes Five of uh, of Illidan, of course. 
And Bane Gyrocopter is just a very strong combination to begin with, with just a Rock of Rise going time. through the Nightmare, as well as a, a support to go with that, like a, like a Lushrak or a Lina or something like that, to follow up with the stun uh, based on uh, based on the Nightmare, just follow up on uh, with m maybe even an Ice Pass, you know? Jikiro, as we have seen, are start playing some amazing, placing some amazing Ice Paths on his Jikiro, and yeah. You, you kind of don't want to deal with that. When did we see that? We saw that in Virtus Pro taking on Dignitas in the grand finals for the Rhythmix Russian Dota 2 League. That's Radiant right. And better yet, he was able to land spot on Ice Path that got four of the opponent team while being team on a server back. that gave him 200 MS lag. So quite in, uh, impressive. Uh, but it's still in the pool, so who knows? We're going to have indeed the Nature's Prophet getting banned out. No real surprise so far. The Gyrocopter for Fnatic, again, no surprise. Another carry, maybe the Luna would be another one to see. Maybe, I mean, Shadow Demon is still in the pool. Now, normally I don't really, I'm not really a fan of having and the Shadow Demon and the Bane in the same draft, but we've actually seen Verge Pro picking that up quite a few times. So we might see that happening again. Uh, but Fnatic, they're going to ban out a carry. They're going to ban out the Anti-Mage, and that is interesting because... That kind of suggests that Fnatic wants to go, uh, or well, maybe they want to go for something like uh, like a Faces Void or something that they have the la latest game or steal the the, I mean steal the Phantom Lancer. I'm I'm almost forgetting him again, but the Phantom Lancer is still in the pool, and right now this is Virtus Pro time. Do you want to ban it out or not? And like you already have the Life Sealer granted, but having the Phantom Lancer. And the life stealer. It basically means that you can only shut down one of the two, and one of the the other Five one is going to be getting remaining. big, real big. So, and and the, uh, also the thing about a phantom lancer is that even if you shut him down at the early game, if he gets his levels, he'll still farm fast later on because of course he has got his uh, his uh, juxtapose and his illusions that can just help him farm real fast. And I just realized that the Russian stream Dying is showing. Pick. Well, it's not. Sh sorry, it's not. Sh uh, yeah, it is. It's showing, um, showing players, so I just have to do like that, just this, and I'm gonna be just be placing it like here-ish. Might not be the prettiest, but I know you want to see that when they actually have it. Um, but I will be turning it on every time they uh, they see so they show something like that. So, um, of course, like I said, it's the land finals. We want to be getting a, a bit of the action there. We we might all be sitting at home, not in the, not in the crowd. Not in Kiev, but we still want to have the experience remaining. of, you know, seeing the players, being, you know, pretending that we can Five be Five seconds okay, remaining. Okay, that sounds a bit sad. But the, the, the idea is there. Anyway, we're going to have the Ruby picked up by Fnatic, so that's going to be another time. one of their supports. As, I mean, they needed some disable, I guess. They had a vacuum and a open wounds and mana leak, if I can call it that. But it is, um, it is a Rubik that brings Diet the telekinesis, gives Fnatic a bit extra oomph. Can I say that? <laughs> yep, I think so. Gives them, it gives them a bit more character and a bit more uh, disable. As talking about disable, Virtus Pro does not lack that. They've got the nightmare setting up for Split Earth, as I mentioned, very strong with with the Templar Assassin getting banned out. That's a honey respect ban, by the way. And um, we're gonna have, uh, the, of course, remaining. Dream Coil, the Silence, Entangles if you're lucky. So disable wise, Virtus Pro is uh, is ahead right now. We're gonna see what Fnatic picks up last. I mean, they kind of missed their their mid hero, I'd say. And uh, with the Templar Assassin getting banned out, I mean, it, it really depends on what they want to be doing and and how aggressive they want to be playing it. But something like a Brewmaster, for example, bit of a mid game kind of hero, Beastmaster wouldn't even be that bad. Luna. Uh, but they still pick up the Luna, and this means Radiant that we might see a different hero mid than that we're used to. Dark Seer mid, most likely. Aggressive trial and lunar free farming? Could be. Could be indeed. And denying the Luna to Virtus Pro. Like, I, I mentioned the Luna because um, Illidan has got basically two carry signature heroes, heroes which is the Gyrocopter, which was got banned out by Fnatic, and the Luna. And right now, Virtus Pro, they kind of missed their, um, their carry. And I think they wanted to have that Five Luna. Five seconds remaining. What else can they pick up? Well, they can still. There are still a lot of He's carries in there, time. to be fair. Next two. Next two. Next two. Well, I can only mention two. There's a. Like, there's always more than one. More than two signature heroes. But normally, there's only always two, at least. 
Well, what's Airman gonna play then? Faces Void. Or. Phantom Lancer? Or Alchemist? Ten seconds remaining. I, I say Alchemist because I've actually played it quite a few times before. And of course, but I already have the Long Druid. To be at a bit of a carry. And they are gonna be going for the Chaos Knight. And that's gonna be even more disabled. That is something that. Virtus Pro is triumphing over right now. They've got most disable of both teams, and of course, I mean, there's a Rubik on one side, so he can steal disables. But then again, if you shut down the Rubik, they got nothing. They got absolutely nothing. Hey, B this you know that there is actually no delay on the stream, so you could just join me and watch the stream instead. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be wouldn't be good, probably. You could give comments on my comments. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is interesting to see uh, the chaos I picked up. I mean, they wanted some mid game, they got some mid game, lone druid for late Ten game, and they're remaining. gonna try to dominate the the lanes and then dominate from there on out. Five seconds. Let's remaining. see if they uh, if they indeed can uh, can do that as uh, look casters of Russian sorts. But uh, yeah, here we are. Here we are with the finals of, well, the first Prepare game. I guess it's the land finals, you can call it, but this is, of course, not the finals yet. But this is the land finals, still. Season 5, Starlighter Star Series, Fnatic taking on Virtus Pro with Fnatic sitting on the dire side. We're gonna see Era playing as Lifestealer, Fly on the Keeper of the Light, No Tail is gonna be playing the Rubik, and um, we are gonna be seeing Hani playing the Luna. So we might see a Luna go mid this game actually with Trixie on the darks here as I realize that there is actually I don't know this is not the view that I want to have but I will check that in a moment see if there's something throttling my PC in the background we're gonna see Smile on his signature Bane with Illidan playing at the Chaos Knight we're gonna have Tamer Wild on the puck with Ness playing his Le Shrek one of his signature heroes as well and KSI playing his famed lone druid and uh, just give me a chance to check if I have to turn something off that's gonna be something that I want to turn off and that is actually helping me out quite a bit happy times happy times indeed so both teams scouting out their uh, their own jungle but not finding anything really as um, why is that bugged there we go Looks a bit better, but yeah, they're they're just scouting it out. We're gonna see the bear checking for the rune. Gonna the be uh, at least be able to see what which one it is. Maybe for some people away, it is actually the haste rune. And then Nessie just came haste. in to get that one. Bear up the high ground. Oh my god, that is gonna be trouble. Well, he can actually get uh, recalled back. Oh, edict, no tail trouble. Illuminate that edict. This gonna get the first blood. Key is I. He gets the first blood with just a bit of overextension, and the bear does not have a blink back at level one. So he has to resummon it. That is trouble for him, but with only already getting the first blood, I don't think he's too sad about that. He just has to be really careful, though. Just has to be really careful. But we're gonna have a dual lane in the mid, something that uh, Fnatic likes to do on the Radiant side normally with the Chaos Knight. But we're gonna see it from Virtus.pro this time. And look at their aggression. JK already taking so much harassment. Hani, of course, JK, I mean, I, I mentioned the name that's on the stream, but it's actually Hani, of course. He is, um... He is a Luna, surprise. But Luna's mid, they, they in theory should be able to, to stay alive, like they are very fast and everything, but if you're not gonna be up against a dual lane that actually has got two heroes that have massive disable, he's gonna help by, be helped by no so that helps out, but that's it, that is gonna be trouble. Absolutely that is not. definitely gonna be trouble, especially when these two get level three, Chaos Knight level two, that is about needed, as we see uh, that uh, Tamer Wild is actually taking a lot of harassment here from Trixie, this might actually be trouble for him, he, Trixie, he knows that he's here, Tamer Wild in trouble, pops herself, it's gonna get cheesed down, that Iron Shell, here comes our start, able to try and help out, and that is gonna be Tamer Wild being into safety, and it's gonna be Smile that's gonna take a bit of harassment, this is Trixie, one versus two, he's able to harass them both away. So we're gonna have the puck on the bottom lane, a bit of a try, a bit of a dual lane up against Trixie, I guess. So we have got a 2-2-1 situation on the side of Virtus Pro with a 2-2-1 situation now also on the side of Fnatic. Forced out a bit, of course, No Tail was on the top lane earlier, but now decided to help out. Mm -hmm. Hanny in the mid lane, no real surprise, because um, you know. Regeneration. 
You don't want to have your Luna being there by yourself. And Luna actually going to be roaming a bit. Going to be trying maybe to go for the creep camp. That could be uh, one of the things that she wants to be doing as an S. Just uh, misses stun on Oteo, so can't go for the kill again. Unfortunately for him, he, if he if he would have hit that stun, that would have been another kill. That would have been another kill for him. As we have uh, Eleven just having a good old time in the mid lane. He's not going to get shut down at all. He is 13 for 6. And... He is actually highest on top of the last hits in the nice right now. Higher than the life stealer who should be free from on the top lane, who's going for KSI. They're gonna be having a telekinesis as well. The open wounds already went, and KSI is gonna be going down. Do my soul. And the player that got himself the first blood gets himself killed as the second target in the game. And then it's gonna be good for Era to get a bit of extra gold because he should be trying to at least stay ahead of that Chaos Knight. You can't have your so safe lane out farming. Well, you can have it out farming the mid lane, but you should be, you should be, I mean, you have free farm, you shouldn't miss anything. And right now it is Illidan that is still ahead uh, of Era right now. As we have got Timo out, he's on, the, he's on the safe lane, of course, as well for his team. He is doing okay on last hits, but the thing about it is if you compare him to a life sealer, he is not going to have as big of an impact as a life sealer in the very late game. And, you know, he's not really a carry. He's a dominance hero. Yes, he, if he gets a good start, he will be able to get that control over the game and get himself ahead in the game as well. But, you know what I mean? It's it's not the same as a life sealer. So we're just going to see uh, how much uh, of an impact that has at the bright side. I mean, they still have got the Chaos Knight free farming. KSI, I mean, he did get the first blood. He did get his core items up a bit. He got his boots. He's not too sad, uh, apart from being sad that he constantly has to use his cooldown to summon his bear because either his bear gets put up a cliff or his bear dies when he dies or, you know, that's not, that's not ideal at all. Um, but that's, that's you know, he, he, he can do this, he can stay alive. As we have actually got uh, now Tracy going down. This is a um, smile coming in, Arsard helping out. Tima Wild. Also, of course, with the orb, able to jump after him. The silence there as well. Gonna be a kill for Virtus Pro. As we have got a lot of TPs in towards this middle lane. With the rotation from Fnatic being complete now, with the Luna free farming top. It's gonna be also uh, saying that KSI uh, co can come back. Because KSI against the solo Luna will be just fine. But Aira will be farming in the mid lane. He knows that he should do something against that Chaos Knight. And this is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. Oh, and one thing that I actually want to point out is that, of course, I mean, Illidan has got a stun. Great. But uh, the stun is t has still got a travel time. Now, it's not as long as a travel time as a spend would have, for example. But Ira, if he is fast on the fingers, which we should imagine he is, because, you know, he's a professional player and all that, you can't be a professional player if you're not, if you're not fast on the fingers, he should be able to dodge that Chaos Bolt. And if he does that, then oh. that's going to be an opening for Ira to try and go in. Oh, the Split Earth, actually. <laughs> that is something that he should be able to dodge as well, but I guess he didn't see that one coming. And they didn't go in on it anyway. But we do have uh, now dual lane versus dual lane in the mid, li mid lane. With a bit of a more even matchup than we saw Watch before. Out. It's going to be Fly that's going to be helping out on the Luna as well. Just so that uh, he can get some uh, some extra gold for himself. And the thing is, I mean, we're going to see these two teams sitting in their lanes. Maybe rotating lanes if they think it's uh, not, as, um, not as successful as just sitting on the lanes. But if, like... Oh, they're going to go for this three second sum. That's a lot. Real drift in. Telekinesis is trying to help out and the rage away should be enough. The edict though, Babel going through, open wounds up an S and S, a lot of trouble and they fast out of the creep will be getting the kill for Era. A bit of, uh, well, I, I wouldn't say overextension because it didn't look like they, they, they were playing very careful. You saw him going for the stun, he didn't want to go in afterwards straight away, but then he thought, oh, it's three seconds, it's quite a long time, I'll be able to drift in. And then he did that. But Ira, he didn't back off, he just went for it and he got himself a kill with the Infest, of course, helping out a ton. Haste run up on No-Tail, can't really go for a kill on KSI, I think he is gonna be okay. As he has also got his bear, yeah, he's gonna be fine and that's gonna be No-Tail just using his Haste run to maybe scout around a bit. Maybe finding openings, but I don't think he'll be able to find it on the top lane for now as uh, they leave uh, they leave the two carries alone in the mid lane. Talking about people being left alone. Smiles being left alone, wait a second. That means that there is Team of Wild in the mid lane and there's Silence and the Sun. Three seconds again, Slit Earth as well. Telekinesis is trying to help out, will there be a rage? There will be, but is it enough? Open wounds and can't get it done. Illidan get him the kill this time. Ira couldn't eat himself full on an S and no one fest for him this time meant no HP. 
extra for him. He died. He died. And that's gonna be Tame while roaming back towards the bottom lane. Where, uh, yeah, where Arsup got himself some free experience. I mean, he's got but he's got 1k gold. He's not doing bad at all for a support. I mean, if you look at the net worth, he is doing best of all for all the support. Telekinesis is up on an S in the mid lane. Open wounds as well. It's gonna be Reality Rift in still from Illidan, but it's gonna be an S that goes down. Still Lance, Lance is stun on no tail, but I don't think that Illidan can finish the job here. Not with Tracy hanging around here as well. Surge is up era. Is there gonna be more? Is there gonna be another open wounds? 11 seconds. They're gonna dive this. They're gonna go over this. TP is incoming. Tamer Wild wanna do something against this. He is just gonna be the one to scare everybody away without really doing anything. But his looks will do the job. I mean, look at that. Look at that face. Wouldn't you be afraid if you ran into him late at night in the alley? Yeah. He looks scary. Mean face. I don't see it. Oh well. But that is uh, that is Fnatic. Not getting getting the second kill up on the up on the Chaos Knight. As in the follow-up kill, but they did get NS again. Uh, NS actually died twice already. Um, of the three kills that Fnatic has, NS twice. It happens. It's actually better than having the kills up on other targets. I mean, if Chaos Knight went down instead, that would have been a way bigger blow to Virtus Pro. But he stayed alive this time. And uh, there's gonna be uh, Smile actually coming in with the Fiend's grab, looking for Era. He looks to looks to go, but Era he knows what's going on. He has to back off. He is backing off. Look at that tower. This is Edict for you. Tower in the night range, but they don't want to deny it because this tower is is so much more than just the gold that you give away. You give them so much, give away so much map control. Tower will still go down tower though. I guess they should have gone for the deny gone. anyway. But you don't want to give away that map control really all that eagerly, and and that's gonna be the edict that's that's doing that for them. As a Ness, he's been going for this build a lot more recently. As we well, we've seen a bit of a shift for for the Shreks. First, it was already Split Earth and Diabolic Edict, and nobody going for Lightning Storm, and then it was everybody going for Lightning Storm, and uh, not that much for Edict or Stun, and. Now NS goes for the stun and for the edict. Doesn't really need to go for the uh, for the lightning. Doesn't really need to burst because the burst comes from Illidan, and that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a smoke. They're gonna be going top. Let's see who they're gonna be trying for. I think it's gonna be a Hani that they want to go for. Hani, of course. I mean, he's had a bad start in the mid lane, but then he went top and he actually got himself a bit back into the game. Dyer's bottom tower now he's under um. Attack. He's still a bit behind KSI, who's also had a bad start. Riyadh Drift in, that's gonna be a stun. One second only though, Splitter still follows, and that's gonna be a kill going away of Villa then. No. You but that is, uh, I mean, Virtus Pro KSI is, is doing actually, also considering his, um... Well, I say bad early start, but he did get the first blood. I mean, you know, can't forget that one. But it is, it, it is a bad early start. He got killed off. He couldn't really do that much. His bear got constantly either put on the high ground or or died because you know it wasn't cooldown. But he got himself back on track as well. Middle tower is under as well as uh, as Hani. I'm gonna be seeing who is pulling ahead fastest uh, later on, though, and it should be. Well, in theory, you'd want the Luna to be having a good early game so she can get a BKB, especially against the lineup that Virtus Pro has. You want to be able to not get stunned. But she is, uh, she's gonna be quite late with that one. And I think KSI is actually gonna be pulling ahead of her more than he already is right now. AGAIN! Fiend's Grip! Yeah. Being used to kill off Trixie on the bottom lane. He's missing Trixie going down. And we have in the middle lane, Era and uh, Illidan by themselves, no supports. This is just a gentleman's agreement. You don't kill me, I don't kill you. 47 for 7 up on Era, while Illidan is sitting on 49 to 19. He is highest up on everybody. You see also highest up on the net worth. Followed by Tamer Wild, who is doing really well on the bottom lane as well. 55 for 6 on the last hits. So is indeed doing really well. And for now, Virtus Pro, they're not really trying to push, but they, they can start thinking about that a bit more. When I mean, their Chaos Knight is level 8, their Lushrak has got his Edict, and they can actually just try to go for uh, for some towers, and they're actually gonna go for a tower on the bottom lane, looks like. And the tower is already, uh, already pretty low, and this is gonna be dangerous for Fnatic, because this is the time that they need to hold on. This is the time where Virtus Pro's lineup is gonna triumph over Fnatic, purely based on, on levels and on control and something that Fnatic cannot outweigh yet with the power of their heroes in the meantime in the mid lane Open Wounds went on Illidan and Era is gonna be finding himself in a bit of trouble as he tries to rage himself away he puts out, gets on the iron shell do they want to go on this is the question I don't think so though TP out from no chill towards the top lane helping out is uh, oh cancelling a CP I was gonna say helping out is scary but apparently doesn't need any help rotation goes 
Team of Wild Nilla then looking for that rune. Can't find it though. Or Radiant's well Puck finds it. He gets a double attack. damage rune. And that's gonna be tower going down. He's gonna die for it though. NS. Yep, there he goes. Trixie gets the kill. But the tower still goes down and he still gets the tower gold. So for support, that's a good trade. And look at that gold. Again. It's just slowly spiking up. This is with the lineup that these teams have, this is expected. That's that's the thing, like right now. If you see Lashrak, a Chaos Knight, and a Puck and a Bane, I mean Fiend's Grip, Trixie again. And this time one brain step will do the job. Actually, the vacuum is first. Trixie gets himself the kill instead. He is gonna be happy with that one. I'm very happy, but I don't think they're all too happy with their map right now because it's getting smaller. Kinda. We have got all tier one towers on the side of Fnatic down. Radiant's and that is uh, that is painful is because they attack. need that they need that map, they need that farm. Because as I, I was just saying, I mean, this is the time Dyer's where Versus Tony should be getting head based on their heroes. Though. Fnatic, though, they should be able to, or they, they want to try to be able to, still get their levels up, get their farm up, and at some point be ready to fight back and make use of the overextension that they're gonna hope that Verge Pro is gonna do at some point. Like, you want Aira to have more farm, you wanna have that Rubik to be able to uh, steal some big, uh, big stuff, as that was actually the Fiend's Grip stole no tail! Nice one. And this is actually just a mistake from Smile. Arstart casted it on the bottom lane. We saw him. He went down. Wasn't able to cast anything else. And he didn't cast anything until he just appeared again in the mid lane. And that is gonna be no deal with a Fiend's Grip. And that can actually turn around the entire dynamic. If Fnatic now finds people, they're dead. If they're finding them by themselves. Of course, I mean, like I already said, there's a lot of disabled on the side of Virtus Pro. So if they find him and there's more people around, well... Uh, and, uh, well, and if they find him and he's actually gonna die, that would also not be too good. But they, they back out. But yeah, this is, um, this is a big important spell. But we, we see Everest Pro and, I mean, they're actually not uh, letting themselves get caught out that much. They are sticking together, at least but with groups of two, groups of three sometimes, but groups of two, uh, apart from this guy actually. But uh, we see them, and, and he has got a Fiend's Grip, he is gonna scout out, see if he can hold someone in place until the Cavalry arrives, Cavalry being, uh, being Illidan, of course, and maybe he's gonna be going for Tricks again, there seems to be a bit of a feud between these two. Uh, ooh, rotation, oh hello everybody from Fnatic, gonna go for a... Uh, they oh, they have a Sentry Ward, Fiend's Grip from the Rubik, well, wow, bye, smile. I like it, Sentry Ward doing the works. And that's gonna be him, totally not aware what was going on. Like, hey, everybody's here. What? Oh my god, they saw me. That's trouble. That is trouble for sure. Blink Dagger up on Tamai Wild in the meantime. He is uh, gonna be able to have that control. This is basically the place that you want to have your puck with the Blink Dagger. 15 minutes in, it's not too fast, but it's not slow either. It's just, uh, he. Made, I mean, he's got Bottle and Treads as well, so he's doing okay for himself. And... He is gonna be able to uh, to put that control, and more importantly, like he like okay, Fnatic's team they don't really want to go for aggression straight away. I mean, they can't really fight Verge Pro at this time. But if they do, then there's Tamer Wild, and there's gonna be Dream Coils, and there's gonna they're gonna be regretting what they did. So uh, we're just gonna see how long Fnatic can hold on. That's basically the name of the game right now. How long can uh, can they hold on and still get their farm without giving away too much to Verge Pro? And they haven't really given away that much. I mean, if you look at the towers, there's three towers difference. That's quite a bit of a difference with uh, no denies on the towers, actually. Uh, that is, um... That is gonna be not... That's gonna be, like, three towers is 4.5k gold. Something like that. And the gold graph is, uh... Well, gold difference is uh, a lot less than that. Splitter, JK dead. Illuminate flying through. Edict being popped on. It is uh, Verge Pro that really want to fight this open wound. So, era. Gonna be trying to find the puck. Puck blinks himself away. A nice nightmare up on here. In the meantime, the rest of the team is still fighting. Trixie going down. It is gonna be No Tail that goes down. It's gonna be Era that's trying to stay alive. Can he take down someone in return? He's trying to run for his life right now. He will go down though. Maybe taking the nest with him, but no, he doesn't. No one take my wild is around, and the only one staying alive. But is he actually staying alive? Is a question. Is a uh, fly who has got himself an entangle. One more hit needed. That bear needs to get that hit, and he gets it. That's a T wipe. On the side of Fnatic, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Virch Pro, they're ready to fight. Fnatic, forced to continue to hang on, but can they hang on is the question. And right now, they didn't hang on, for sure. 
Right they there. didn't hang on. And Virtbro with the team wipe don't get anything in return. They don't get a tower. They got a bit of the damage of the tower, but this is really nothing. So I guess Fnatic not too sad about not losing more than just their lives, but it's not good. It is not good the way they got caught out. And that is just a bit of map control as we see No Tail getting picked up by Tamer Wild. No mechanism from Trixie helping out. And Tamer Wild gonna get stuck inside the jungle. And that is going to be, um, yeah, I'm being able to blink away, I was going to say. Armored ready up on Era. And Trixie with the mech, we saw him already. And I mean, we still see, uh, see, see Hani, he is not that farmed, let's just put it that way. He is just not that farmed. He has actually gone for a Helm of the Dominator, picked himself up the Morbid Mask, has got treads, I mean, it's all nice. But against this team right now, you want to have a BKB, just purely for the shutdown that Verge Pro has. For the control, and yes, they've got stuff that goes through BKB. I mean, you've got a fiend script, you've got yourself entangles, but those stuns, the chaos bolts, the dream coils, the silence, the split earths I mean, there's so much that you can still shut out, and that's actually worth it. And at least if you have a BKB, you force out the fiend script up on yourself rather than up on era, for example. I mean, the thing is, I mean, with two carries, you in theory can only shut down one, but in this case, with Verge Pro, that's not the case because they've got so much shutdown. But Fnatic, they just need to find a place to farm, find the time, buy the time. At the same time, even if they buy enough time, it's not going to be a guarantee that Virtus, that they're going to be uh, out leveling, out farming Virtus Pro because they've got themselves a lone druid who is uh, starting to get there. He's got himself an armlet face boots. He is uh, still third highest for his team. But, I mean, the difference is clear. I mean, he is definitely not doing too bad anymore. And not only do you have a lone druid, you of course also have a chaos knight to deal with later on in the game. And they, you've got, I mean, you've got two carries to, to t turn it around, but um, it's it's not going to be guaranteed that that you win fights. It's all going to be com coming down to choices, coming down to how well you can control your opponent team, which in this game, Zerg's Pro is definitely going to be a star at, depending on what that Rubik actually steals. A time will tell. I do feel like Fnatic, they are playing from uh, from behind. They are on the back foot, like not just because their their early game didn't go as well as they probably would have hoped, but also just purely for the lack of control that Fnatic has on their team and the amount, a massive amount of control that Verse Pro can have. So you have the gold graph going towards the 6k experience graph. In the meantime, it's gonna be going towards the 5k. I mean, the difference is is, I mean, it's not that much if you t take a look. It's four levels difference. Uh, four kills difference, there we go, that, that's what I mean. But the levels, I mean, as you can see, the three highest for each team are about even. Like, there's one level difference with the Lifestealer being not level 11 yet. But it's still fairly even. You see the biggest the biggest differences in the supports, with the supports of Virtus Pro being level 9 and the supports of Fnatic being level 7 and 8. And that's, of course, because of team fight. Virtus Pro supports getting experience from those kills while Fnatic supports died. And, you know, that, that makes a big difference. And that is what we see back, but that is not... As important. I mean, if they would be level 11, like having a level 2 ultimate, not really like level 11, but if they would have be having a level 2 ultimate, that would be trouble. But right now, they are not that far ahead. And Fnatic with one team fight can get themselves out. The thing is, do you really want to take a team fight right now? Only if Virtus Pro is like being surprised. And maybe with a 4 on 5, then you want to take a team fight. But even that, it's not guaranteed that it will go in your way if you're Fnatic right now. And have a BKB on the Chaos Knight, so he is gonna be able to just run around like a lunatic and run around and hit stuff as hard as he can. Because Fnatic, they don't have anything against BKB unless Rubik steals something that is actually w usable against BKB. But I mean, Fnatic, they already have got not that much shutdown, and now they'll have even less. As we're gonna be seeing at least an S getting picked off, and they just uh, surprised him. Good job at that. We're able to get themselves a kill. And these kind of pickups are the ones that they should be trying to go for. But look at look at what kind of place Fnatic is, is forced to be in. Hani farming at the same Radiant lane as Era is, and that is gonna attack. be putting them like slightly behind us. We have Bane still Radiant getting uh, the darks here, Trixie going down the bottom lane. He got surprised by uh, by three heroes, Riala Drift and I mean Dream Coil. There was really no surprise that he went down there. Fiend script use as well, so a lot of use. But in the meantime, it is Fnatic that gets himself a tower in return. 
It's not really the best trade you can make, but right now these towers are gonna give Fnatic a bit of a more of their core goal. Core item gold, that is. And especially for supports, that's important. But still also a lot important for Fnatic themselves. I mean, that BKB on Luna is, is again one step closer. She only needs about 20 gold and then she has it. And then <clears throat> she will be able to um, to be a bit more in fights. But they still, they still don't want to be in fights. Don't get me wrong, though. Like, they shouldn't want to be in fights unless they know that they're going to be ahead. And the only way that they can know that is that they have vision all over. And they do have a couple of wards. They have two wards up on the map. They've got a lot of sentry wards up on the map, though. But um, they don't have as much control as I would be expecting them to try and get. But then again, you really want to go out in the enemy side of the map to try and place wards right now as a support? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. That's why they're gonna smoke up. Maybe place words with all of them and if they run into someone, well, that guy is gonna be going down. As uh, they may be trying to go for uh, for Team My Wild here. I think they saw him rotate. Maybe they want to go for the tower instead. They know that Team My Wild is around there. They pinked on him, but they, they are gonna be going for the tower. Not too bad. We see a drawing on the map. Um, actually, that's a drawing from NS himself. <clears throat> They just walked past the words here for Verge Pro, so mm. it is meaning that Fnatic knows that they are just quite safe here on the bottom lane. And they're Radiant's gonna be TPing back. They're gonna try to defend their tier 2 towers. All tier 2 towers for Fnatic are still standing right now, but I think that's gonna be changing fairly fast, depending on how this fight's gonna go. Because do you really wanna fight this? Not too sure. Dyer's they don't have to deal with Tamer Law just yet. He is still on his way here. There goes a surge in. Trixie gonna get stunned before he can do anything. And that is gonna be Trixie going down as a first run. Real drifted as well. Fiend's grip in the meantime up on Era. Already getting cancelled again as well. Eclipse gonna go up. Hanny with the BKB. And it's gonna be Swell that goes down. Fly already dropped as well as Era looking for an S. Gets himself a double kill. It is going well for Fnatic. 2 for 2 so far. Era in a lot of trouble. Infested out. Uh, infests himself into a creep. Doesn't uh, outfest. I guess that's not a word. Still have the Rubik going down on side. So all of a sudden 3 for. Two, and this is gonna be Fnatic losing their tower, losing three heroes, and no, they can't lose air right now. That wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good at all. And that is not good. Tamar Wild triple kill, and that is gonna be maybe Verge Pro even trying to go up the high ground. Never mind. With the Keeper of Light up, they can't do that anymore. But this is a good fight for Verge for Verge Pro. It started off real bad with having basically Trixie not being able to do anything in the fight, couldn't put up a wall or anything like that. Not in time anyway. But um, it, it, it went okay afterwards. They were able to disrupt Virtus Pro. They, they were able to, to take fights to multiple locations so that Virtus Pro didn't really know to focus. They got themselves to pick up some of the supports. But then it went downhill, leaving Tamar Wild to just roam and, and jump from one place to another and get them get him a triple kill. Well, that is not good. And that's going to be Fnatic's, uh, Fnatic's uh, lost 14 fights in the end. And they also lost the tower, of course. I mean, Edict helping out still a bit from KSI, uh, from NS, even after he died. And of course, the bear from, uh, yeah, from KSI helping out as well. Is Outfest a word? Infest? Outfest? He infests himself out? That's, that's, I mean... <laughs> that sounds awkward. Infest in, infest out. Double damage. I don't know. Roshan! This can be something that Fnatic could really use, and it doesn't look like Rush Pro has any idea that this is going on. They do have a ward of the high ground, but they didn't see them go in, and this is gonna be an Aegis going the way of Era. And that is gonna be, uh, gonna be good for him. Gonna be good for him for sure, and they will be able to pick up the board as well. Nice. Not that many misses. And Trixie again. He is not with his team. Like we've seen him getting picked up a couple of times when he wasn't with his team. Uh, he's now gonna change his mind and go together with his team. He's got 16 on the goal. Picked himself up a ghost Sept or something that you really want to have if you're up against the Chaos Knight. But it's still not gonna be. Um, Guarantee that you're invulnerable because I mean there's brain saps, there's orbs, there's uh, split earths and edicts It's all gonna be still up and in stuns even from the chaos knight of course It's uh, it's not gonna be a fail safe, but it will help him out a bit as we have got a Vlad's actually picked up by the life stealer Interestingly enough that he picks that up Considering that's normally an item that you know you let your supports go for at some point Just to, so you have more item slots to be getting your more damagey item up but um, Knowing that his supports aren't really getting anything 
and he really wanted it, well, then you just want to have it, I guess. Gets, of course, a good aura for his entire team. If they're gonna be forced to team fight, they better be ready for it. In the meantime, we've got the Luna. She's got herself, of course, still the BKB. She's actually not finished up her Helm of the Dominator. Just got that Morbid Mask in there. And Fnatic forced to farm with the four of them, with the five of them even. Virtus Pro, they're also not, not by themselves. I mean, they're, they're hanging out a bit together. We've got Lashrak still building towards the mechanism. That's something that Virtus Pro doesn't have yet. We've got Tama Wild going for Dyer's the sheep stick. As we've got uh, Blink Dagger up on the dark tier. So they're gonna be going for the top lane. Tier uh, 1 tower, gonna be fortified. Let's see if Virtus Pro is gonna be in time to take this tower back. No, they're not. Reality Drift in still goes. Trixie's four seconds done once again. There comes the Eclipse. He next Peace Grip, a smile already with his BKB backing off again. <laughs> Nova Eden going through Trixie, getting himself out of there. Is he gonna be going down? Yes, he is! Tame Wild picking it up. Mega kill streak fly. In a lot of trouble. Tame Wild wants to go for him. Gets him as well. Gets a triple kill. What can he do next? Fio <laughs> gets himself a life steal. Era wants to go for him. And that is gonna be Tame Wild still be making it out alive. They're still gonna get a two second stun up on Era. He tries to open up on Illidan, but he is gonna be in a lot of trouble and will be dropping his Aegis. And I do think they can try and take him down again. Team of Wild already hanging around here, landing a silence. Four seconds stun up on Era. He can't run. He can't run. And that is gonna be Team of Wild in the middle of all that, getting himself a side of ice. Actually, he got that in the Roche Pit earlier. Never mind me. But that is still gonna be. Another fight going the way of Virtus Pro. Forced out, I guess, by Fnatic. They really wanted the tower, thinking they could get the tower and back off. But they couldn't. And they got everybody so low. But Tamar Wild, though, I mean, he just... He just controlled that fight. He just controlled that fight. Went for, basically, all the supports. Picked up everybody at the back end. And... I mean, yes, his team helped, the team was very useful, don't get me wrong, I mean, and Ness walking around there with and Nova and Edicton, just a lot of damage going through. And... Yeah, Team of Wild then coming in with the silences and the AoE bursts. It just was too much for Fnatic to deal with. They they had the Eclipse used, they, they used everything they had, but they couldn't get it done. Couldn't get any, uh... Any control over the fight, basically, and that's what we've been saying the entire time. In the meantime, Hani, he's got himself the Yasha, so he's gonna go for that man style, giving him a bit of extra survivability, if you will, though with the AoE damage that is going on, his illusions are not gonna last that much longer, but maybe for the split push that he wants to do, if he wants... Like, the thing is, Virtus Pro, they've won a couple of fights already, and of course the one on the top lane, they actually got that tier 2 tower in return for that as well, but other than that, I mean, that fight that just happened, Virtus Pro, they don't get anything in return for that fight. They don't get Rosha, he's down, they don't get a tower because the lanes were pushed out. And that's something that Fnatic can, can really uh, be happy about. And that's something that they're of course going to try to continue to do with just having the lanes pushed out. So if they do take a fight on the side of Virtus Pro, they're not going to lose more than just a fight if they indeed lose that fight. But look at this tower already so low, they have to be really careful with that. <clears throat> In the meantime, the gold graph, not as high. In the favor of Virtus Pro, as you would have thought denied. after these uh, kind of fights, with Fnatic apparently still finding Dyer's enough farm to to get themselves, fortified. keep themselves in the game. Would say it's about 7k in, in favor of Virtus Pro, with the uh, the experience graph sitting Ooh. around tw uh, well 12k, 12.5k, and uh, looking pretty solid to be fair. I mean, the main difference. I mean, th these team fights are just they're just the bit difference right Ooh. there. <clears throat> As we have got uh, the levels on the side, you can see them. And this is the time when the supports make a difference. As you can see, the two supports of Verge Pro already at their level 11, past their level 11 even. Well, level 10 still on the supports of Fnatic. And more importantly, they've got level 18 and level 16, while uh, Fnatic has got themselves and a level 16 and two level 14s. I mean, it's not really ideal. And it's starting to, uh, to get out of control a bit for Fnatic. Radiance top tower is and they have to soon be ready to be uh, dealing with Virtus Pro's lineup right now as we have got a basher up on the bear as well. We've got the, the armlet up on airman as well. We've got the BKB that we already saw from uh, from our Sarge. Basically able to stand there uninterrupted casting a speed script. Radiance top tower Unless Rubik can, uh, can do something, can steal something. Stole himself the edict, not bad. 
Blinding Light trying to delay the push from happening. Reverse Pro, they're just gonna go for this. Real Drift in, no oh, deal, already getting dropped down. That's the control gong on the side of Fnatic. There's the FS, Trixie, Fiends, Grit. Trixie down, Era trouble, Era gonna go down as well. It is gonna be a double kill for Illidan, and this is gonna be a lane of racks. Especially if they can get Hani as well here. They just force him out of the ba out of the base, and with all those buybacks happening, that is actually gonna be something that Fnatic is using to force Virtus Pro back. But that is gonna fallen. be two buybacks on heroes that need that gold. Like they, they are already not the richest guys here, and now they are forced to buy back. They'll even shut down more. Virtus Pro is not gonna be sad about this at all. The thing that they're uh, they're gonna be sad about is that their gem actually died. Well, died. It got picked up by Heidi. So that is going to be something that's going to be giving Fnatic a bit of a control there. I mean, Tame Mobile still died that fight. Don't get me wrong, he died. Lashrek died. It was not bad. It was not a bad fight for Fnatic for sure. But having bought back, it is um, it is definitely not ideal. Like they forced them out, but for how long? When Tame Mobile is back up, is Virtus Pro just going to go for another five-man push? And this time, no buyback from Fnatic, and they really bursted down everybody really fast. And then you got burst versus burst, because Fnatic can't really do anything to control, because their, their Rubik got killed off fairly early. And if you're gonna have burst versus burst, then those levels and, and those items are gonna make a big difference, and Verse Pro, of course, is just way far ahead right now, compared to Fnatic. So we're gonna have the bear having himself a Hyperstone. Going for that Assault Grass with the heart being built up on Illidan. And here you can take a look at the items for yourself. We're gonna see actually after the Yasha, honey. You're gonna be picking up an Eagle Song. Need to get that damage, as I just said. I mean, if you don't have control, it's the damage that makes a difference. So it makes sense that he goes for that one rather than going for the uh, the Manta style. And as we got Lifesteader actually picking up an Orb. An ult <coughs> Ultimate Orb, wait a second. <coughs> wow, I'm not choking. Doing fine. But yeah, an ultimate orb up on the um, up on the life stealer. Interestingly enough, kind of curious to see if he's, what he's gonna go for for that. Maybe a Shiva's guard or something like that. Might even be going for control of his own. Like I, I've been saying, they lack control. But if it's gonna be coming to the point where the life stealer is actually gonna think about buying himself a hex, well. Not too sure about that one, but yeah, Verge Pro, they're gonna go again. Table out back up, roaming around towards bottom lane. It's gonna be going for the barracks. Illuminate is gonna try to stop them from going, and they are gonna get uh, forced out a bit. Maybe they're gonna go be, be able to take Roshan first. They are a bit early, though. Yeah, they're fairly early. They'll take Ancients in, in the first. Ancients in the meantime. Second them up first. How did teamwork? Oh, they didn't. Oh, they did actually stack it up. Being here. And we got the well, Shiva's guard actually being built up by the puck. Let's see. I mean, this is Fnatic being uh, being in quite a bit of trouble. And I actually think that they can't really take the fight in their base. I mean, with the bear there, with the edict there, those barracks will go down fairly fast. And they're gonna be looking to fight for Roshan right here. Roshan back in just a sec. Ah, now they go. There goes the puck. Telekinesis on the bear, and they're gonna try to take down the bear. Open wounds. Here comes Verge Pro, though. Are they looking to save their bear? <clears throat> no, <clears throat> they don't. Bear dead. <coughs> I'm gonna get resummoned again, though. And with everybody out of position from Fnatic, they're gonna be at. Oh. Gonna be trying to go here. He, oh, he jumps in, gets a nice dream call. There goes the reality of this already fly that gets dropped out. No tail gonna be next. Illidan is gonna be going for him. He will be dropping there as the Fiend's grip hits up on air. He goes down. Control. Control. Control Hani and the Keeper of Light we just bought back. Last one alive, but I don't think they care. Reality Drift in. No tower here. Two seconds on. JK goes down. More buybacks, but these are the only buybacks that they have left. And they're gonna go for it. They're gonna go for the barracks. Fortification goes out. 
that's gonna be fly. Maybe a bit of overextending. He can only land one illuminate before he has to go back to his base. The barracks will go down as well. And of course, the tier 3 as well. I wouldn't be surprised to see GG call any moment now. Buy back again from the Dars here. What can he do though? He has got a wall, I guess. There he goes. Vacuum into the wall. But Tracy getting a 3 second stun. Gonna be turned into a Pickle as well. Mechanism goes. They're gonna try to go for KSI. KSI running himself away. Gonna get harassed by a lot there. Are they gonna chase it? Yes, they are. Rian tripped on a no tail though. And he's already gonna get dropped down by R Star's Green Sap. Nightmare locking in JK. Fnatic taking the fight outside their base. Exactly what they should be doing. But can they find the kills is the question. Two seconds down. BKB up. Hilden and running for his life. Doesn't want to get a losing beam in his face. But we'll have to. Well, we'll get it. Oh, double damage rune. That will be uh, enabling him to maybe turn around. Losing beam still hits. Hilden not turning around though. Now he goes turn around. Going for JK. Bomb. Dead. Trixie. Trouble. And he is going to be going down as well. No. He picks up. First throws Hilden first. And S makes it, well, finishes the job though. Open wounds up on an S, but the Ghost Scepter helps out. And here comes uh, Bane as well. Fiends grip up on air. And this is gonna be trouble. And the GG gets called. It is Virtus Pro that get themselves the first game, the first map in this best set of three for the first matchup in the LAN finals for Starletter Season 5 in the Kiev Cyber Arena. And um, we are gonna just um, have. Whoa. Whoa, we're gonna be having view of the players. There we go. Ah, well, they just left. Never mind. We'll be having view of the players in a moment again. Um, yeah, so this is all, all in uh, land finals in Kiev. And um, these two teams, they're gonna be going for game number two. And um, game number two will, of course, be happening straight after this one. As you might, as you saw, though, I mean, people are standing up. They probably want to go for a bit of a smoke. Or something like that. So we're probably going to be uh, having a short break before we uh, continue on. Don't really know where to put this one. That's a good location, I guess. Good location as any. Um, but uh, but yeah, let's jump ourselves out of this game into the next match. Don't go anywhere. More Starletter Season 5 Land Finals coming up right now. <laughs> 